Hello, we are welcome to solve for x in this nice problem involving square root. Here, from what is given to this square root of 2x plus 3, then y minus square root of x plus 2, then equal to 2. Here, we can separate this to the other side and minus here become plus, so we have square root of 2x plus 3 left here then this side become 2 plus square root of x plus 2 then from here we can take the square on both sides and we have on this side square root of 2x plus 3 all square then equals to also this side we have 2 plus root x plus 2 then all square then from here the square cancel the square root and we have 2x plus 3 which is equal to from this side when we apply when we have a plus b all square this gives us a square plus 2ab plus b square so applying this to that so here give us 2 square which is 4 then plus 2 times 2 then times root x plus 2 then plus we have root x plus 2 square then when we solve this here this becomes 2x plus 3 then equals to we still have 4 then plus 2 times 2 here that's 4 then multiply by root x plus 2 then here square cancel square root and we have plus x plus 2 and here this can be written as 2x plus 3 equals to 4 plus 2 here that's 4 plus 2 here that's 6 then plus x then plus we have 4 times root x plus 2 then now from here let's take 6 to this side and also x to this side so we have 2x minus x then plus 3 minus 6 now equals to 4 root x plus 2 that is here 2x minus x that's simply x then 3 minus 6 that's minus 3 now equals to 4 times root x plus 2 then from here let's square both side of this equation and we have x minus 3 square then equals to 4 times root x plus 2 square and from here this expansion gives us x square minus 2 times 3 times x then plus 3 square on this side and here this square affect each of these and we have 4 square times root x plus 2 also square and from here this gives us x square minus 6x then plus 9 equals to here we have 16 then square cancel square root then times x plus 2 and this becomes x square minus 6x plus 9 then equals to 16x plus 32 then we can take everything to one side to form an equation and this becomes x square minus 6x then we have minus 16x then we have plus 9 minus 32 
y equals to 0. And what we have here becomes x squared minus 22x and minus 23 now equals to 0 from here. Now from this quadratic equation, we can solve by factorizing minus 23 is the product and the sum we have minus 23 as the product and the sum is minus 22 so the factors here will be minus 23 okay. plus. so that will be minus 23 times plus 1 and uh, when we sum it as well that is minus 23 plus 1 will give us minus 22 so that this equation will now becomes x squared minus 23 x then plus 1x which is plus x minus 23 now equals to 0 from here then what we have now we can group it to 2 and we have x into bracket x minus 23 and here 1 is common, that's 1 into bracket x minus 23, then equals to 0. Then here x plus 1, then into bracket x minus 23 is equals to 0. Then here we have two cases x plus 1 equals to 0, or we have x minus 23 equals to 0. So here x equals to minus 1 or here x equals to 23. So we have two values for x here. Now to check which one we satisfy the equation given. From the equation we have which is root 2x plus 3 minus root x plus 2 which is equal to 2. Now, when x equals to minus 1 from here, this becomes square root of 2 times minus 1, then plus 3, then minus square root of minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 2. Then checking this from here, 2 times minus 1, minus 2 plus 3, Minus 2 plus 3, that's 1, that's root 1. Then minus also, minus 1 plus 2, that's root 1. Is it equal to 2? Then here, this is 1 minus 1. And here, 1 minus 1 is 0, which is not equal to 2. So since 0 is not equal to 2, x equals to minus 1 is an extraneous solution from here. Then to check for x equals to 23 here. So for x equals to 23, this is an extraneous solution here. So for x equals to 23, what we have, which is square root of 2x plus 3 minus square root of x plus 2, which is equal to 2. Now here we have square root of 2 times 23 plus 3 then minus square root of 23 plus 2 is this equal to 2 then here 23 times 2 here that's give us 46 and 46 plus 3 that's square root of 49 then minus here 23 plus 2 that's root 25 is it equals to 2? Then root 49, that's 7, minus root 25, that's 5. Is it equals to 2? Here we have 2 equals to 2. The left hand side is equals to right hand side. And s equals to 23 satisfies this given problem. Therefore, the solution to this given problem is x equals to 23. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and see you in next class. Bye for now.